We're back with video number 13 of our Pro Tools Basics, Getting Started with Pro Tools. These short videos, as I've said before, are not for the people that want to read manuals and get too technical. They're for folks that want to make music as fast as they can, but they want to learn pro-level shortcuts and editing tips. In this particular video, uh, last time we did a nice balance of the mix and we used VU meters and then we felt that some things needed a little more dynamic control and how do we use basic compression controlling the gain and then we're gonna rebalance and talk about panning. So I hope you enjoy it. Let's dig in, thanks. So all the downbeats are hot, right? Bow, da -na -na, groovy, groovy, bow, hot. So now I'm gonna add a compressor that has no sound that just works dynamically. And this will be the one I'm just gonna use to hit those peaks. So I'm gonna use the Sonex compressor in, attack fast, release pretty fast. I'm gonna set this more to like three to four to one or something up there. And I'm gonna turn this threshold up so till I see it just hit those hot notes. Too much. So you see what's happening, that, that's not doing as much because it's the other ones before it. So let's put this one in, mute this guy, and now watch this one jump. Okay, that did the control. Now we're gonna let this one do the time. Sorry, we're gonna let this one do the vibiness and control. We'll pop it in now. So that one did something to the low end, but do we need it? Let's listen. So we don't really need that. So let's say we're not sure, right? If we want to, instead of just taking it out, let's make it inactive. This is an important thing we haven't learned yet. So to make something inactive, you hit Control and Command and click on it. Now that's inactive. That'll work with an insert or a send. And let's say later you say, oh, I need to add more. You just make it active again by clicking. Now I hear the drum sound too compressed. That's because this threshold is up a lot. So, you know, you were seeing it hit all the time there, right? Okay, so now let's let's take the guitars and look at those to be compressed because they're they got a little pokey thing going. This kind of R and B ish guitar needs to be compressed. Cool. So. Two to one compressio means for every two dB you put in, you get one back. But what I'm gonna do with this is I'm gonna add makeup gain so it makes the quiet parts come up. So we're kind of making the quiet parts louder and the loud parts a little softer and we're really pressing it so it comes right at you in a more forward way. And the threshold means I want it to compress everything. I want the attack to be fast. Off. On. Okay, we're going to reset those levels real quick once we get our compressors happening. Here's the other guitar. Drag this compressor over for speed. Well, that, you hear that one really pops more on this one. They hear the bip, bip, the spit on the front of the note, which which normally we wouldn't do, right? Because we want to avoid it being too much. But in this case, we want to hear that a little bit on this guitar. So now let's go back and reset our levels again. So if I hit hit the M button, everybody goes down. Hit the M button again, everybody's out. Let's go to drums. We're going to go from minus five.
close. Let's go for bass. So dig that. I made this so much louder than before because before I could only make the bass, if I was shooting for minus five, I was getting minus five on the loud notes. So all the other stuff was inaudible because I, that might have been minus 12 or, or less, right? Let's go to the guitar. I'm shooting for minus 10 on these guys for now. Obviously, by ear, you have to do at the end, but this is a good way if you're gonna, you don't trust your ear. All right, so let's see what this whole thing sounds like. So this one's too loud. So here's a trick. You're like, well, I don't know how to set the guitars now. Now I'm confused. Let's set one, and I'll show you a trick. So let's say if that's the level you want, right, let's check that VU. Now, in order for the VU not to change, to go away, I'm going to hold Shift and open it. So you see this little red light isn't on? So this red light means whatever plug-in you put in will be come up on the top and close the other one. With that off, this will always stay open regardless of what's going on. Let's solo this. So that one is like minus five, six, right? So if we want to match the second guitar to that, let's try to get that in the same place. So this sounds loud, right? Let's check it again. Look at, well, we're going to look at the meter on the left because this is pin. I mean, right. Pin right. So that's minus 8. So I think we wanted minus 10, right? right let's try that. And let's put them in context. Just these two. So here's a cool thing you could do. You could highlight these two, command G, make your group again. We'll call this guitars in case we want to change the guitars in relationship to the band, right? So I'd make it a G so I could use that little focus control over here. And then what we could do, we could, we could do these, command G, make this one a D for drums and make this drums and bass. So that way we can control these two uh, separate items, right? So let's hear everybody together. So let's check our drums. They seem they seem light. Maybe I, I misdid my levels. Yeah, I did. So right now the guitars feel a little hot, right? Compared to everything. So, so I'm gonna lower the guitars. So thanks again for watching these Pro Tools Tips videos. We do appreciate it. Hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. Also hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so we can let you know when we have more like this coming. Feel free to send us any messages or comments. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks again. Whoa.